Elon Musk said to not buy Tesla stock in an interview today with Ron Barron. I'll play this clip for you and I'll give you my thoughts as an Arlen Tesla stock investor. Even with Tesla as a publicly traded company, uh, I think it's down 40% or something from its high, is selling at 70 times earnings. Meanwhile, Mercedes-Benz, which now produces EVs, is selling for six times earnings and yielding 5%. Why should I invest in Tesla rather than Mercedes-Benz? Well, I, I actually um, rarely try to convince anyone to invest in Tesla. Um, and many times I've recommended people don't invest in Tesla and I've said our stock is too high. Uh, but then people just ignore me and keep buying the stock for some reason. Um, so, um, but if you, I, I think at, at, at a very high level, I'd say that, that autonomy is an insanely fundamental breakthrough, and, and no one is even close to Tesla for solving generalized autonomy or generalized self driving vehicles. No one's even close. Um, and, and, uh, with self-driving, as I was talking about earlier, the, the car becomes, call it roughly, five times more useful, but it costs the same to build. Now, can you imagine what would happen if a company was doing, you know, we're doing like a 25 to 30 percent gross margins, but suddenly that same thing was five times more valuable? That, what would that do to the value of Tesla and the value of that car? It boggles the mind, actually. Um, so, you know, if you think of net present value of future cash flows, if you actually do the math on that, it's insane. Um, then there's also the Optimus program, which is our humanoid robot, um, which we will leverage our manufacturing expertise and, and the intelligence we've developed for self-driving to have a useful humanoid robot. Um, now, the, the economy is fundamentally GDP per capita times capita. If you no longer have a constraint on capita because of a useful humanoid robot, it is not clear that there is any limit to the size of the economy. That's probably a good reason. Would I recommend to most people to invest in Tesla stock knowing that the only stock that is in my portfolio, stock portfolio, is Tesla stock. Well, of course, this channel is never financial advice. Second, actually, to most people, I would say, do not invest in Tesla stock. The simple reason being is because if you invest into something just because someone else said it, not because you believe you should invest into something because you have done your numbers and the numbers make sense to you based on your research. You see, if you want to beat the market, you have to find something better than average. And that is actually very difficult to do. You just simply look at most hedge funds and most funds, they don't beat even S&P 500. It's incredibly difficult to outperform the market. So just for that one single reason, I would say don't buy Tesla stock, of course, not financial advice, because most people right now, if you bought Tesla stock last year, in uh, a year ago in October or November, now you would be 50% down. Most people are not comfortable with that. Most people would sell and most people would not be able to hold the stock through these times. So to most people, I say, do not buy the stock because the stock will be down probably at some point because it's so volatile, 50%, maybe even more. And then you're going to blame me. Matt told me to buy stock. Actually, to my employees who work for me, then they ask me, should I buy Tesla stock? I tell them, no, don't buy Tesla stock. Don't buy Tesla stock. If you want to buy Tesla stock, go ahead. But my recommendation to you is don't buy it. And the reason why I say specifically my recommendation to you is don't buy it because then they cannot blame me if they buy the stock and then they lose money because I explicitly said do not buy it. Now, the first time I bought 
uh, Tesla stock was in 2019, early 2019, and we know what happened to Tesla stock. So it has been a great investment. And I believe from here, Tesla stock will at least 10x because of full self-driving. And I also believe in Robot Optimus Prime, but that has almost zero um, to do with any of my investment decisions based uh, on Tesla, even though I believe that it will happen eventually. And I'll make a separate video about that. It's coming later today. But to do simple numbers, and I am a conservative investor, by the way, and the simple napkin math for me as a conservative investor is I take uh, 10 million deliveries per year, which I believe Tesla will achieve. Nothing is 100%, but that one, I am like nine, more than 99% sure that Tesla will do that before the end of 2030 uh, in one single year, at least one year before the end of 2030. And then... I just assume that Tesla will make, let's say, $10,000 uh, in profit from one single vehicle. And then you take 10,000 times 10 million deliveries. And then uh, take that income and then give it a PE ratio of 20, which I think is fairly reasonable for a company that is expected to keep growing. And it's not just an automaker, it's a technology company fundamentally, especially with uh, full self driving uh, coming. And then I see basically a safe free X, at least from where we are right now, just based on those assumptions. Again, not financial advice, but these are just my sort of bearish assumptions in my bear case. This is sort of what I'm uh, looking at. And I believe personally for me, if I hold uh, my money from right now until the end of 2030, there is less than 1% chance of me losing money in Tesla stock. That's just my personal deep conviction. Doesn't mean you should do that. Uh, what you do is up to you. I just sh simply share what I'm doing. And of course, then I consider full self-driving. For example, this here is roughly a 20-minute drive with no uh, takeovers. And I believe full self-driving is definitely going to be solved. And if it is going to be solved this decade, I believe Tesla will greatly benefit. Therefore, my conviction is Tesla stock will at least 10x from where we are right now. You look at those videos a year ago, you look at any random video from Holmar's catalog YouTube channel, and if it's city driving, you would think that this is showing how bad full self driving is. Notably, it is still beta and it was beta. And now you click on a random video, which this is basically a random video that I clicked on, and zero takeovers. I mean, it's getting difficult to find really bad drives. And about uh, in the beginning of this year, around February, even March, it was really easy to do that. You could pick any video and you would find uh, full self driving beta doing something absolutely so dull. I gotta say it like that because otherwise, uh, you want YouTube will not recommend this video. Um, so. I believe full self driving will be solved. And when you look at AI models, artificial intelligence models, and you look at the parameters that each year we are able to put in them, the number of parameters in AI models for the last few years has been growing at 10 times per year. 10 times per year. You know, the Moore's Law, the one that our economy basically has been built on with all the progress that we had with internet and computers and phones. All of that came from Moore's Law. And Moore's Law says that the number of transistors double, not every year, once every two years, basically. The AI models, the parameters, number of parameters used in AI models, that is growing in 10 times per year. That is so much more and so much faster than the Moore's Law. And, you know, you ask anyone in 1990s, do you think everyone will have a personal computer? 
next decade? The common answer would be no. Do you think everyone will have access to the internet? You asked that in 1990, and they will ask you, what is the internet? You ask in 1995, do you think everyone will have a cell phone in their pocket in 10 years? Most people would say, no. Now everyone has cell phones, <laughs> smartphones. An iPhone seemingly came out of nowhere in 2007. And that was a big upgrade with the apps and everything. So this is the next revolution, full self-driving. And I believe it is coming very soon. These are 48 reasons why I only hold Tesla stock in my stock portfolio. My name is Matt Postius, and I will see you in the next video later today or here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe.